Okay, so it was really bothering me where I had heard all those words before from that book. And this is the third and last video I'm making about this book. So I found the article. Uh, it was an article published in the Rolling Stone. <coughs> but if you're not subscribed to the Rolling Stone... You can read it in a variety. The, the, it really does paint a dark picture of Johnny Depp. The book was published in 2022, but the article was written in 2018. And it was by, uh, the journalist was Stefan Roderick, Stephen, I'm not sure how you pronounce his, his name. Um, and, and reading this article, it's, it's the book. Um, condensed. Because this article is talking about the Rolling Stone article. Which. I think is the book. So, okay. Now my question is. And I don't know why this is bothering me so much. My question is, is Stephen Roderick, did he anonymously have that book, do that, write that book? I mean, did he... And did he add things to it? I would have to subscribe to the Rolling Stone, which I'm not going to do. Um, nothing against the Rolling Stone. It's just one extra thing I don't need. Um, and compare the two side by side. If one of you want to do that, go ahead. It's my new, <clears throat> my new coffee mug from uh, Books a Million. Um, I just need to let it go. <laughs> so apparently, this guy was with that for 72 hours. saying he tried to pull his own tooth at a London restaurant while having dinner. <laughs> and I guess he had the interview at a rented mansion in London's Highgate <clears throat> neighborhood. So, right, so here the journalist is named. In the book not named. Why? That's all I want to know is why. This article obviously has the journalist's name on it. And the original article is The Trouble with Johnny in the Rolling Stone. Y'all might remember that. But for some reason, the book, the author, does not claim credit
Depp then went on tour. See, after his divorce from Heard and in the midst of encountering legal troubles, Depp recalled, I was as low as I believe I could have gotten. The next step was you're going to arrive somewhere with your eyes open and you're going to leave there with your eyes closed. I couldn't take the pain every day. Depp then went on tour with the Hollywood Vampires and decided to write a memoir on an old manual typewriter. Man, that would take forever. I have an, an, an old manual typewriter that was gifted to me by my sister for Christmas last year. And I adore the thing. But you ain't typing. I can type 90 words, 90 plus words a minute. You ain't typing 90 words a minute on a manual. Not even an electric. A manual. You ain't. No. Those keys don't work like that. I remember reading this. I poured myself a vodka in the morning and started writing until the tears filled my eyes. <clears throat> and I couldn't see the page anymore. Kept trying to figure out what I'd done to deserve this. That's one of the first things that a survivor of especially narcissistic abuse will ask themselves, what did I do to bring this on? Nothing. <clears throat> Narcissists just seek out kind, you know, um, vulnerable people. whose hearts are wide open. And then, sadly, when they're done with us, our hearts aren't so open anymore. We like them to be, but they aren't. It takes work, 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 and I'm still not there. Trust does not come easy for me. I trust no one, <laughs> you know? Mm. So, <clears throat> I guess my whole thing is with this, I got two things I want to say here and I'm going to wrap this video up because it's, my day is about to get started. One, my thing with this article is that. with the book is why why if the same journalist that wrote the article wrote this book self published this book why not just put your name to it because if somebody like me who knows absolutely nada about nada um, <clears throat> can find this article and link it to the book anybody can um, and then they're going to trace, they're going to, you know, Amazon would know, they have to know if the person's going to, they want to get paid, who, um, who published the book. So I suppose if someone wanted to, they could contact Amazon find out because if it's not the journalist and someone just literally took the article and published a book with it to gain royalties to gain money because it's about Johnny Depp I mean there, there's a few um There's a few reviews about it. They're all bad. They're all bad. They're all bad. <laughs> 
And I'm... There's like 21, just not a lot. It's got a 3.6 out of 5. It's too short. Leaves a very sad idea of a very incredible actor. Fifteen minutes of my life I can't get back. And then I gave up, so this person didn't finish it. Don't waste your money. I would have thought it was written for a first grader. Yeah, me too. Except for the mention of the drugs. In fact, most first graders could have done a better job. Each chapter is like two pages. Yep. Zero depth or even style. It's billed as a memoir, but there's nothing real about it. The point of autobiographies and biographies are to get to know someone better. This tells the reader absolutely nothing. I made it through the first 30 pages and decided that was enough. The only reason it didn't go directly into the trash is because it makes me heart sick for any book to go into the garbage. I'll probably donate it or put it in a little free library or it can be someone else's problems. problem. Additionally, it is clear that the writer is an opportunist Yes, the writer is an opportunistic vulture, merely trying to bank on the momentum of debt being in the news to release it just after the death. Okay, so I'm not crazy. Okay, <laughs> because I was thinking the same thing. Whoever put this book out is just anonymously, is just they literally copied an article, and I don't even think the people that read the book know this. If they didn't read the article, then they're not going to connect. Okay, good, I'm not crazy. Um, <laughs> so they're an opportunistic vulture, merely trying to bank on the momentum of debt being in the news to release it just after the defamation trial. I wanted to read a debt biography because I just finished River Phoenix's biography. There was a two-line mention of the incident in this book in which the writer refers to the late Phoenix as a her. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of mistakes in the book. This book was a joke. Misspelled words, untrue facts. This should be taken out of Amazon. Yep. Horribly written book. Obviously biased book against Johnny Depp and not well written. Grammatical errors abound. Yes, thank you. Hard to read needs editing. Little offer to the reader other than confusion and a headache from trying to make sense of most sentences. I'm going to leave my review and I'm going to link the Rolling Stone article in my review because this book is plagiarism plain and simple it's plagiarism and as that person said they were just trying to cash in as to be honest I think a lot of people were trying to ride that wave during the trial and cash in on Johnny Depp's, you know, I don't want to call it newfound fame, but his, you know, I think the whole world at, at last year was speaking his name, you know, because of the trial. And I think a lot of people, a lot of people were doing things, creating videos, writing, or this in this case is just plagiarism you know books and whatever articles sorry I don't know that I don't know why she anyway to cash in on him and don't even get me started on that that's just makes me ill it's a whole nother y'all notice my videos aren't put together like that they're very informal I'm trying to get better I don't think I'm ever going to be like professional at this because I'm just me <clears throat> um, I'm just gonna talk how I talk you know that's why this video about this book is in three different videos instead of one you know comprehensive video because sometimes I'll just jump on here when I have a thought you know and that book left me really confused like like last night I was like this is so familiar I've read these words somewhere before and so this morning I, I had to find it and I'm glad I did because when I leave my review for this book I'm going to link the article 
to my review. And maybe Amazon will take it down. I doubt it. But maybe if they realize it was pure plagiarism. Can't believe they don't check these the self-published books better than that. Excuse me. Um Anywho. <laughs> so that solves that mystery. Um, at the very least, the journalist maybe could have the book removed since it really is his article. It's definitely not <clears throat> the article really I remember reading the article when it came out and it's really not it wasn't um flattering at all, but it was raw. It was real. You know, and I'm thinking, if it was me, I wouldn't let, you know, a journalist into my life unless I didn't care about what they published. If I'm going to do things in front of a journalist and say things in front of a journalist, you know it's going to get published. So, my guess is Johnny Depp didn't care. You know what the guy published it could have been too that maybe at that time 2018 you know he hadn't been long out of that relationship with Amber Heard and was still dealing with her you know in legal matters and so he might have just been feeling like a you know F the world kind of thing you know and just didn't care at the time Anyway, guys, don't get the book. Just don't get the book. If you've read the article, you've read the book. Really. Let's get this day going. I'm already tired thinking about it. See you guys later. Bye.